Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to understand about what is padding and stride in CNN. In our previous video, we discussed about what is convolution operation and how we do it. So uh, let's get started. Before starting, I would like to tell you that why padding is needed. So in our previous video, just like we did the convolution operation, and what we did in convolution operation is we have one filter and we apply that filter on a particular image and we do the matrix multiplication and generate a new convolved feature or new convolved matrix. So this process of applying filter and generating a new convolved feature is called as convolution. So what actually happens during this feature, during this process is we generally lose some of the information. And this is the reason that why we need the uh, padding. So how we lose uh, information, I would like to tell you that. Let's say, assume that in this particular case, this is our filter and this filter is of size three cross three. And let's say this is my image and the image size is of five cross five in this particular, this particular image is of five cross five. And assume that uh, we apply this particular filter onto this image and we kind of roll uh, slide through the complete image and then we generate a new convolved feature or new convolved matrix, which is of three cross three. So one thing is very clear that when we are giving an image of five cross five, we are getting an output image as three cross three. So that means we are losing our information. So what actually happens during the convolution operation is every time we apply the convolution operation, image shrinks and uh, the size of image get reduced. So just like as you have seen here and if I tell you one more time, like let's say if we apply, we apply one more time this particular filter, three by three filter, this one, onto this newly generated image, what will happen? We will reduce size even more. So there is one mathematical formula which is basically used behind this calculation is, which is n minus f plus one. So this formula is where n is the number of, you know, dimension of image. So in this particular case is in our particular cases, n is five because our image is of size five cross five and our filter is three cross three. So f is my filter size. So here we will take three and we will what if we will do this ma uh, mathematical operation, what we will get five minus three, two plus one is equal to three. So that means um, if I will apply this three cross three filter on a five cross five image, I will get a three cross three image. Now, once more time, uh, if I apply this three cross three filter on this three cross three image, what will happen in that case? As per this formula, what will happen? My image size is of three cross three, which is this newly generated image. And my filter size is of three cross three, which is the already given here. So three minus three plus one, it will become only one. So that means if I will put this filter, if I will apply this filter on this and do a convolution operation one more time, I will get only a single value, some or digit, some uh, integer or some digit will be here. So that means my whole image will be shrinked to a, a very, uh, you know, very low resolution image that will be having um, no information for us. So during this process, you can see that our information gets lost. So to avoid such loss of information, we do the padding. What we do in padding is we kind of pad our image with the zeros. So let me show it to you. So padding is a simply a process of adding layers of zero to our input image so as to avoid the problem which we mentioned above. So let's say this is my image. This light gray section is my image, image section. So here what I am doing is I'm kind of applying zeros on all of the corners or around the edges. So you can see that one row of zeros is added, added here, one column of zero added here, one column of zeros added here, and one row of zero added here. So around this particular matrix, I have added zero. So what will happen due to this is, let's say, assume I will take one more example is, let's say this is my image. So this, the inner section, which is of this, this is my image, original image size, and this, gray section which contains all of the zero i have applied padding so and assume that this is my filter so what will happen during this operation is we will be applying this uh, filter here so let's say if i apply filter onto this section on here so in this particular session i will generate 
one output. So if I will do this complete uh, convolution operation using this filter and this image, I will get the image of same size. So here uh, in this particular case, the image size was of four cross flows and we have used a filter of two cross two. And then after doing this, because we have already added padding towards to this particular image, we will get the image of same size. Here we are getting the image of same size. So in th and this kind of padding is known as same padding. In this case, we add P padding layers such that the output image has the same dimension as the input image. So our output image will be of the same dimension as what we have given as an input. So this kind of padding is known as same padding. There is one more type of padding is so here you can see that uh, so th the formula used here is n plus 2p minus f plus 1. So this formula is used in same padding case and is the number of you know dimension of our um, original matrix p is the padding size f is the filter size and then plus 1. So if we apply this formula we get the same uh, size of the image as an output and there is one more type of padding valid padding and valid padding is nothing bad but it means that we do not apply padding at all the the particular case which we have done earlier so you here you can see that so this case which we uh, which i just showed to you in starting of this so this case is known as uh, valid padding so whenever we will do when whenever we say that we are applying a valid padding that means that we are not applying padding at all it might be confusing but the valid padding means that there is no padding and what will happen if there is no padding uh, uh, during the convolution operation our image size will get reduced and we will lose information so this 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 process is called convolution and this concept of adding zeros around the corners around the as is is called as our padding now co comes about the stride what is stride stride is nothing but it's just uh, how big uh, step we take while doing the convolution operation so let's say uh, if i take you through this one so here you can see that uh, let's say this this blue is my filter so this is my filter and if i take a stride of two stride of two means that i am taking a jump of two so let's say if i put in my initial filter here and then after that i take a jump of two and then do the cal uh, calculation again and then i again i take a, a jump of two and then i do the calculation so the step size which we take uh, before performing the next convolution operation is termed as stride. So here in this particular case, we are taking a stride as two because you can see that we are jumping from this particular position, this particular position to this position. So this is uh, because here one and two, this one and two, we are jumping two columns ahead for the next convolution operation. So this particular uh, con concept is termed as stride. So that's all for this video, guys. Uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you have not liked or subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and see you in the next one.